Well, Sherry, Tiffany Horton didn't ask for pity. She didn't ask for money. Instead, Tiffany just asked for people to heed her warning. While there was nothing she could have done to avoid this accident, Tiffany says she made one costly mistake that no driver should make. I jokingly say that uh, everywhere I go, people definitely stare, but I understand because if I were them, I'd probably be staring too. <laughs> but perhaps the most noticeable thing about Tiffany Horton is her smile. You know, I'm doing okay. To say Tiffany has been through a lot in the past month and a half could be an understatement. I was headed home to a spaghetti dinner and my life changed forever. It was March 7th. Tiffany was driving home to her husband down Highway 280. She was seven months pregnant. Adley Brooke Horton was due April 27th. The next thing I know, I wake up in a hospital bed and my family surrounded me. First thing I asked was I looked at my husband and I said, did Adley make it? And he shook his head. Police say this man, Erwin Francisco Bartolo, was drunk when he drove over the median into oncoming traffic and slammed into Tiffany's car head on. When you woke up in the hospital, you asked about him. I did. Even though I lost my child due to this, you know, I still don't wish any harm on him. Instead, Tiffany turns to her faith, something that kept her strong as she said goodbye to the daughter she'd never see grow up. She looked just like my husband and she was so beautiful. I just told her that I'm sorry that I didn't get to have a future with her, but that um, I know she'd be in good hands. She's going to heaven. I can't, I cannot wait to meet her when I get to go there one day. There was a lot of silence that I had with her and just prayed with her and um, just really tried to soak up that moment. We had some some pictures of her hands and feet that we had taken and they're just so precious. That's exactly what you think of when you think of a baby. You know, you think of tiny hands and feet. Tiffany has gone from preparing for motherhood to needing the constant care of her family. She and her husband now live with her parents in Shelby County. After another surgery, she'll have to relearn how to walk. I've been forewarned that that's going to be tough. I know that I can get through it. And, you know, I, I'm doing it all for Adley. But in her recovery, Tiffany faces another obstacle. The guy that did hit me, he didn't have any insurance. As two young about to be parents, you know, you're you're trying to save up, expecting the arrival of your baby girl. And we had actually gotten rid of what we call uninsured motorists. Because Tiffany and her husband decided to get rid of their uninsured motorist coverage, their insurance company can't give them anything toward their $300,000 in medical bills. And it's just a tough time of not only do I have to deal with, you know, my own injuries and the death of my child, but now these bills just piling up. Meanwhile, she's hired a lawyer who will try to fight for her in civil court. This is a case that really touched me getting to know Tiffany, but thinking about Adley and she's six or seven weeks away from coming into the world. Tiffany and Matt are preparing and, and getting ready to, to welcome her and in the blink of an eye, everything changes. You know, I can't see into the future. I don't know what's there, um, but we're gonna do everything we can to help them. Since criminal charges, including manslaughter, are pending against Francisco Bartolo, the civil case could take years. The case has been bound over to a grand jury. But for now, Tiffany has a simple message. If there's anything you get rid of, don't get, in, don't get rid of uninsured motorists. And I will continue to educate people on that, share my story. But she knows her journey doesn't end there. I just look towards my faith. Do we want more children? Of course we do. We feel like we have so much love to give that we were ready to give Adley and unfortunately weren't able to give her. And they said, people don't live through this stuff. And they said, you made it out and you made it out for a reason. What that reason is, is I say, stay tuned.
After the accident, Tiffany's friends started a GoFundMe page to help with those medical bills. So far, it has raised over $30,000, but if you still want to donate, we have a link to that on our website, WIAT.com. In the studio tonight, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.